it's National Sorry Day. And um, the, the grandmothers around the country have called a uh, rally. We as Aboriginal grandparents and parents have called protests across the country on May 26, demanding the return of our children who have forcibly been removed by the welfare agency. Free the kids, bring them home. We want your children back. And um, we've had enough and we're aware of what's going on all around the country. Today is a national movement and there's people walking all over the country um, today. More Aboriginal children are being taken away than any previous time in Australia's black and white history. This cannot be allowed to continue. It is time for families and supporters to come together and fight what our families as others are calling, yet again, another stolen generation. John Pilger, writing in Green Left Weekly, says, Today, the theft of Aboriginal children, including babies taken from the birth table, is now more widespread than at any time during the last century. As of June last year, almost 14,000 Aboriginal children had been removed. This is five times the number when Bringing Them Home was written. We want the punitive child removals to stop. Child welfare agencies must work with Aboriginal families and provide supports and services to ensure families stay together. We demand Aboriginal control over all decisions affecting the welfare of our children and families. Because 200 years is a long time. 40 years since the 10 embassy started, the same, the same F and bloody issues that we're suffering back then, we're still bloody fighting for today. And nothing's changed. How long is this going to happen? I say let's go in here and get a delegation upstairs. Come on, you mob. Let's do this. Bring the kids, bring them back. We want our children back. Bring the kids, bring them back. We want our children back. They've come in, taken my four kids off me, and um, uh, my kids have been taken under neglect. And um, I haven't got my kids back yet, and I just want my kids back. I want my kids home. I did nothing wrong. And um, there were two ladies and a gentleman in the um, where we had the meeting about the um, about the children still in um, care. And then we came out. There were more police and um, uh, um, any of the uh, workers, the, uh, the department of this. I'm coming. I'm coming. And all we came was just to get a delegation in there, see what they can do about policy changes yeah. and work with Aboriginal people. To get and it was a back. successful yeah. meeting. Yeah. And then we come out and we're dancing around and everything, and waiting for the phone, like for the phone call for the meeting and stuff, and sitting inside because that's what we do, you know, yeah. we stand off. Yeah. Yeah. And then more police came and more police came. Then they started antagonising everybody, and you can ask everybody here. They were antagonising everybody. Nessa! I hope you feel good. They just arrested, um, what, three of our people for coming and standing up for the removal of children on Sorry Day. Um, a repeat, history repeating itself over again. My um, nan was taken from her mum, uh, my mum was taken from my nan, I was taken from my mum and now my kids have been taken from me. It's another style of generation all over again because they're not following the Aboriginal child placement principles that are under the legislation.